Hey guys, what's up? By Sectortron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next Live on War Day video. And uh, this is the one against TH9 Specialist. And I'm going to be recording some live attacks from this war. Uh, looks like they have all Town Hall 9, so we do have a huge advantage. Um, but they're very skilled Town Hall 9 attackers, so even if it's not a close war, there's going to be some great attacks coming out of it. And uh, you'll see that in later videos, but you'll also see that in this video, because I'm going to be recording some live. So let's just wait around, and I'll come back when we have our first attack going. All right, here we go. We got Fahim going live, and uh, got into this one nice and early, so you guys are going to see the whole thing. Uh, taking a look at this one, we have uh, Wizard going down. Looks like a little bit of a queen walk. Um, I actually helped him with this plan, so I should know what's going on a little bit more. I, I gave him a few tips for it. Um, coming in here with the queen walk, nice little hog to get the CC lure. It'll go up there, great timing, so it goes up to the archer tower instead of the wizard tower. Timed it great for when that cannon went down. I dropped down the poison. I uh, shouldn't even need the rage, there's no point defense on the queen. So that max dragon doesn't do a ton of damage, and uh, it, it's not going to be a big issue. The queen will take it out, she'll keep moving. Um, starting the bottom part of the attack, just needs to keep an eye on the queen, but she shouldn't encounter that much point defense, uh, so she should be okay. Doesn't even have a rage for her, so just the ability, but that should be fine. Anyway, though, uh, the golem coming in on the mortar, a little slow on the funnel creation. He's probably a little nervous about his queen. Uh, the it, healers are taking some damage from the air defense right there, but here come the Valks. Uh, no goal, or no, it does have the goal on, never mind, uh, which did bust because he got down nice and early, but no big deal. Um, the king should go down in a moment. Oh, the king walked on him. Uh, that could hurt him. Um, might not be that bad, though, because the Valks can do a lot of damage on their own without the king. We'll see how that ends up uh, playing. I don't think that heal got a whole lot. I don't think anything got the value of that heal. Uh, kind of a live curse, I guess, is what people were saying. Uh, but the king is taking for a lot of point defense, so if he can slip a few of those hogs in, yeah, right there, uh, going to get great value for that because everything's on the king. Uh, might still have a pretty good shot at this. Doesn't have if that heal had been saved for the hogs, I think he might have this. But without the heal, it's going to be tough to get in there. Only has six more hogs to deploy, and there might even be another giant bomb or something in there. So a lot of this base is already destroyed, already at like eighty percent. But um, doesn't look like he's going to get the three star. A lot of point defense still up, and uh, probably some giant bombs. Was that a giant bomb out there? It's kind of a weird spot if it was. I mean, it looks like it was because the explosion. Um, but that should just make it easier on cleanup, if nothing else. Uh, the queen's on a wall. She'll get her, make her way in, but I think the expos will get her down, along with the Teslas and stuff. Uh, those six hogs aren't going to be able to do a whole lot, but he might deploy them, might not. Uh, so anyway, good try to Fahim. Doesn't look like he's going to get it, but the plan, I think, was solid. Just a little bit late on the king. That would have been a huge difference, that level uh, 28 king, it looks like, if he get, goes inside the base. Um, but I like the deployment of the hogs here. Everything's being tanked by the queen, at least. And she might actually stay up right here. I think if nothing else, we'll run out of time. But tricky little deployment there to get that expo. And it looks like the queen will go down to that Tesla anyway. So uh, yeah, good try. The heroes aren't enough to do it. We'll go ahead and back out in case someone else is going in. Because I have a feeling someone's going to try to sneak in on me. So uh, good attack, Fahim. I'll be back, though, with the next attack. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, always fun to see some live ones. But uh We'll go ahead and tr tell Fahim, nice try, and uh, I'll be right back with the next attack. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. We got Yaji going in live here uh, against number 12. Looks like he's bringing a queen walk, go Vaho. So another Valk attack, pretty common that we're seeing, uh, along with a few other ones mixed in, like the... Uh, Golem Avalanche, various stuff you see on the channel. Uh, anyway, though, coming in here with the Queen Walk, looks like he's going to wall break her, her into that top compartment. Should get some great value, assuming she goes in there. Uh, Wizard looks good there. Just make sure she goes in. She should target that DE drill, then kind of wrap around and go into the base here. Uh, yeah, it looks like she'll go to that air defense. Yeah, she's going to go into the base. Uh, so everything's going to work out great there. Two point defense do get on her, but... I think he has four healers, so that's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, look, the Expos after the update are the main threat, and the Teslas too, because they do extra damage. Uh, but anyway, uh, the Rage goes down, that's great. Poison for the CC troops, those minions and balloons will go down real quickly. Um, so good placement there. Everything's looking pretty good though. Uh, about a minute in, so time's always a factor. 
but um, assuming he can take out the rest of the base pretty quickly, this still could be a uh, three star. Not a big deal for time, I guess, so far. Uh, poison for the queen, that will uh, help his queen take her out. Maybe won't even have to use the ability just because there's no point defense on her. So yeah, I think he doesn't even have to use the ability here. Uh, goes through her, probably wants to start the rest of his attack now. Yeah, but there goes the golem, the minions, uh, creating the funnel. Awesome job there, nice and cheap funnel. And uh, the wizards, which should help back up the Valks as they enter the base too. Uh, here come the wall breakers. That mortar, looks like it is starting to target the golem, but it did not take out the wall breakers. That works out. Needs to pop the queen's ability soon. She is getting low and both the expos are on her. There goes the ability. Okay, great placement there. Um, I think she's out of range of that second expo too. So she should stay up and that's huge because he needs her for cleanup with this amount of time left. Uh, here come the Valks, the king. The Valks are getting a little bit crazy on them. They ran all the way to the bottom here. They're going to be stuck on the wall. He should deploy some hogs there while everything's tanked. Uh, but the king's moving through, uh, pops the ability, triggering some giant bombs. Already came in with his first group of hogs at the top. This one, uh, oh, double giant bomb set there that took out quite a few of his hogs. Um, sorry about that notification. The queen is up, though. Everything's up. I, this base, it's time. I think time's going to be an issue, especially with that one building up there. Yeah, that that gold mine. Uh, yeah, nice try to Yaji. I mean, everything's going to go down. Maybe not that archer tower, but both heroes are at full health. So, I mean, had the power to get through this base. Just uh, the timing was off a little bit just because I guess the queen walk took a while and uh, wasn't able to get it done. You, see, you saw a lot of the hogs go down uh, to that double giant bomb set, kind of in a weird placement there. But looking how close those two double giant bomb sets are to each other, this one should be an easy cleanup. So nice attack to Yaji, good try. Uh, almost there, just couldn't quite get it in the amount of time. But anyway though, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to cut it short here. Only two attacks, so sorry it's a little bit shorter than usual, but um, I'm not sure if I can get any recorded tomorrow. And it is pretty late here, not many people are on, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it though. Stay tuned for the next video uh, with more coverage of this war. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.